Hello, I'm Beautiful Caterpillars, and today we are doing project, or not project, product review number four. Four, I think it is. Yeah, it's number four today. So I have a whole, a whole bunch of things, not a whole bunch of things, um, some things I want to talk about that are like too small to do a video on their own, so I just kind of clump them together. And yeah, these are my thoughts and reviews on these products. These are my own personal opinions, so take them at what you are, if it works for you, great. These are some things that work for me, some things work great for me. Um, none of these videos, none of these items are sponsored. These are all just my personal opinions, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing, sorry if you can hear my dangly earrings, I just think they're super cute. This is the Freeman's um, Mint and Lemon Clay Mask, and it's supposed to control oil and breakouts. And I've been using this, this is my Project 10 Pan, I'll link that down below if you'd like to see that. Um, but I've been using this for about the past month or so since I started the project, or almost a month. And it's nice. I don't know if I can fully say that this worked completely wonders on my oily and skin and stuff. I have still a bit of breakouts and I'm not really sure why and I don't really know if this helps or not but it's been nice to use a face mask at least twice a week and yeah at one point I felt like there was a big difference on my skin and then now it's just kind of starting to break out again so I don't really know but this is really nice and if you do have oil and acne um, Maybe try this. It was it's been really nice and I have enjoyed it. I just don't know if like deep clearing mud masks really do anything for my skin or not. I just haven't seen like a ginormous difference, but I do really like to use them to kind of like put them on my skin and like absorb things and you know, just kind of do a deep clean, even though I don't know really know if it is doing a deep clean or not. I just like to feel like I am doing it. So there's the first item. I felt like saying, up for auction. Next item up for auction is, <laughs> such a weird, weird thing. Uh, this is the Hard Candy Sheer Ember, Sheer Envy Primer, Shine Free. It says it controls shine for a matte finish. It says a shine free primer. And um, I really like this stuff. It's really nice. It says we harder animals. We do not test our products on them, which is really nice. This is cruelty free. This brand, um, I don't know if you can tell. But it kind of comes out and it's kind of, kind of like the texture of the Smashbox Photo Prime, Photo, Smashbox Photo Prime or something, something on the lines of that. And kind of like the Maybelline Baby Lips kind of without having like the full silicone feeling. It kind of feels like, um the e.l.f. hydrating face primer without being like a little bit too silicone-y and it doesn't ball up on my skin and it just feels like just a tad bit more creamier and I really like it and it has definitely helped with the oil on my face although I have a very oily tea sorry my battery just died and it cut me off um, so as I said, I have a really oily T-zone, so I my across my forehead, my nose, and my chin, and it doesn't take the oil completely away, but it does kind of help control the shine. The only thing that really keeps the shine away for the most part is when I bake my T-zone, so I bake my forehead, my nose, and my chin, and that's basically the only thing, so if you're oily skin, that's basically the only thing that I've noticed that has truly helped me um, with my oil control, but this stuff is really nice. So if you have kind of oily skin, it might really help. I'm wearing it under my foundation today, and I'm not actually too oily so far, so that's pretty good. Um, so the next thing is also on an oil control. This is the Biotherm uh, um, Sebum Matte Control Shine Control Moisturizer Combination slash Oily Skin, and it's for sensitive skin. And this stuff actually does keep me matte. I put on my bed, my face before and at once once before I went to bed and I woke up in the morning and I was definitely less oily. So this stuff definitely does work. I use this in the morning before I put my makeup on in combination with this stuff to kind of help control the matte, my matte, my oily skin. But again, the only thing that I've noticed that is really like 100% keep me like pretty on, like pretty not, pretty not oily and like not shiny and my foundation doesn't eat through it is that I bake my face. But this stuff definitely does help. It does keep me less shiny and it does help control the oil. I'm just worried it's like blocking my pores or something and I'm kind of concerned about that. And also baking my face probably isn't too good to like pack on the powder for my oily T-zone, but it does help, so yes. Another thing by Hard Candy in this review is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. These are another things that are being like, here, let's keep control the oil on my face. 
my battery's dying on me again and I didn't recharge any other ones. So, um, this one... Okay, sorry guys, the lighting has changed. I don't know if it's going to be too washing me out right now. I'm not 100% sure, but I kind of want to film this. I'm like, the sun is out, so let's quickly film this, but I feel like I'm very pale in this video. Anywho, not a big deal. Um, yes, my camera died on me twice, so I had to charge my battery for a little bit, and hopefully it'll last long enough for this. But um, as I was saying, this is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray, and again, all these things are like, here, let's make my makeup last longer on my face. I... I'm not a huge fan of this just because of the sole purpose of just see do you hear that like how annoying that is um the setting spray it just like boom, like it doesn't like it's not a nice fine mist on your face it's like boom 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 it's like one little boom shot it's not like a general mist which i like on my face which is why i'm not a huge fan of this otherwise it worked well can okay, i make up set and stuff but I wasn't a huge fan of the mist, so the, the sprayer on this guy. So that would be probably why I'm a pass on this one, because I absolutely, this is almost like 10 bucks, and I absolutely love my Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray, and this one has 45 mils, and this one is 64 mils, so you're only getting 20 more mils in this one than you do in this little guy, and this guy is under $5, I'm pretty sure, and this one's almost 10 bucks, so, you know, for 20 more mils, I'd rather go with this guy that has um, a nicer, just a nicer juice in that mist. It was such a nice mist. I mean, it was open and I could see people walking through the driveway, the parking lot. That's why I keep looking at my window. Awkward moment when. Anywho, um, the next thing I want to talk about is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer. And this mascara, I have it in black and black brown. I wish I would have gotten it in black, but anywho. Look at how fine that is. It's so tiny, but this makes my lashes look amazing, like gorgeous. They're like so long and full and like fluttery and they just look amazing and it gives me a bunch of volume, like, I don't know, volume, but like length and it just holds a curl so well. And I don't really even need to use a curling wand with this. I can do like a couple strokes and they're like, whoa, this is life changing. I love this stuff. Everyone's hyping about it. And I definitely believe that this mascara, well, at least works for me, is worth the hype. It's amazing. You should go and buy it. No, this is not sponsored by the way. So this next product, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. Crap, I'm going to have to delete some off my memory card. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Lash Primer. I don't necessarily think this is like, you should definitely use this lash primer because I haven't really noticed that it's um, given me a whole lot of anything or like my mascara last longer. I don't really have the issue. It's kind of got a big wand on it there as you can see and it's white and I feel like if I put this down first and let it dry then I try to put mascara over top of it it's really hard and really difficult and it really it's like crumbly like it's cr not crumbly but it's like my lashes feel like there's already something on them so I'm not a huge fan of this Sorry for the background change. I'm just having a lot of technical difficulties with this video. First, my batteries kept dying on me. Then my memory card filled up, so I had to delete some stuff. Anywho, um, yes, this Photo Focus Lash Primer by Wet n Wild. I don't know if it's 100% necessary. Um, I don't use it all the time on my nails, and I haven't, I don't know my nails, my eyelashes, and I haven't really noticed a difference when I do use it to post when I don't use it, so I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm getting, like, completely washed out in this video. I don't really know how to, like, I don't want to, like, take away the sun, because I'm like, well, it's giving me bright but I just look pale and like my white shirt seems to be blending in but whatever anywho the do thing I another thing I do like by wet n wild is their photo focus eyeshadow primer this guy is under five dollars and I think it is great it works really well it's a big huge tube so it lasts me a really long time like I've been using this since like January and it's not even like anywhere close to being small like done because I use such like a pea size amount like even smaller than that like half a pea size amount like a little pea size amount on like each eye and like rub it in and it won't cause any creases which is really great and it lets my makeup stay really long my eyeshadow stay longer because I do notice a difference when I do use this and I don't that my makeup my eyeshadow kind of creases a bit and it doesn't look as nice and doesn't layer as long so yeah I really like this stuff so 
this. I also really love their primer and I'm pretty sure I've done a review on their primer but if I haven't it's the Photo Focus primer by Wet n Wild and it is amazing and it's so creamy. It's like my favorite primer of all time. It kind of feels like the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So if you like that check out the Wet n Wild one. I haven't really seen like for 100% if they're like Duke side by side but they're still really nice and the Wet n Wild one's like under $5 as well. So yeah. Breathe Jenna. I need to learn how to breathe. Okay, the next thing is that I am is the Maybelline Master Precise um, Eyeliner in black, and it's got such like it's a felt tip eyeliner, and it's got such a nice tip on it. It's super dark, and I absolutely love this. I do have a bit of a cool pro with this. I lost this for a little while. Ah. So I started using it and then I lost it like a couple weeks in and I was really loving it. And then I went out and bought another one because I couldn't find this guy and I was like, ah, oh, I really liked it. I know I have backups of other eyeliners I wanted to try, but I was like, no, I really want to like give this one a try. And then I bought that one and I'm pretty sure it was dried out or else this is just an anomaly and all of them are like that because I had to press so hard on my hand to get any color to come out of my eye and it was just a big mess. But this guy, the one I have right now, it goes on so smoothly. It doesn't transfer over my hooded eyes. If I leave it alone for five minutes, it's there at the end of the night it's not all up in my eyelids um, and I really like this one as opposed to the Revlon color stay one I do not like that guy and I will do a whole vi I've talked about that in a bunch of videos I'm going to do a whole video on that one as well or it's gonna be like in a products I regret video coming up soon I haven't filmed that yet but it'll be on my channel soon so look for that as well it'll be coming up soon but yes, this Maybelline Master Precise Felt Tip. I really like felt tips just because they're a lot easier to get the wing out of and I just feel like a pencil is kind of better because I'm not very good at eyeliner. But I really like this stuff and it glides on smoothly and it's a dream and it, once it dries, it's, once it sets, it's like locked in there. It's not going anywhere, which is really nice and usually like my wing was still there at the end of the day. So that's really nice. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is the Essence um, Lip Liners. They are really nice. They're really soft. They go on really nicely. They last all, not all day, but they do a good job of what I need them to do to line my lips and stuff. And they're really smooth and soft and they have really nice colors and they sharpen easily, I guess. I don't really know, but they're like under $2 or something and I think they're great. Um, I have the color, <laughs> are these labeled, oh yes, 06 Saint Mauve and Dave, Dave, D-E-D-A-A-E-A, -A -A -A. I don't know how to say that, but yes, they're bright red and a mauve pink color and here they are, swatch my hand, there's the mauve color and there's the red one and they work really nice to line my lips and um, make sure that my lipstick doesn't, all right, yeah, my lipsticks or my liquid, I don't really lip with lipsticks, but lip, lipsticks especially, especially red lipsticks seem to bleed all over my face, so they also just kind of give me a nice cup of color as well, and they like help my makeup last, my lipstick lasts a little longer, so especially with red, and like it's bleeding too, and then like if your lipstick starts to fade, if your eye li lip liner matches the color below it too, it doesn't look as weird, and it kind of helps it last, like make it look like you, um, my lip color isn't like half blotching off your face, especially with dark colors, like dark reds and stuff, but these guys are amazing and I love them and they're like under $2 or $3, dollars, I'm pretty sure, at the drugstore. So in Canada you can find Essence in um, Shoppers Drug Mart, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I know Shoppers Drug Mart, but I don't know anywhere else. I know 100% Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm not sure about anywhere else, in the, anywhere else in the world, but yes, I really like these guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you found it helpful. Or, you know, if there's any products you want me to review that I've hauled recently, let me know in the comments down below or anything you would like me to review and maybe I'll try to do it if I have it or um, if I want to try it and eventually I will get around to doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Give it a big thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, my beautiful butterflies. Bye.